I'm sorry, sir. I tried, but no one here is willing to enlist. Unacceptable, Captain. Either deliver me recruits or deliver me your resignation. What will I do now? Without the Shornhelm Guard, I'm nothing. I told the General I'm a soldier, not a recruiter. But now I'm to be discharged if I fail? It's not right. I've tried to do my duty, but I can't force people to enlist. Not a single one. Montclair's war has decimated our ranks, and people now see enlisting in the Guard as a foolhardy proposition. I have a few prospects, but they seem to have no sense of duty. I don't know. Maybe my manner is just too harsh. Certainly. I have one prospect who should be simple. Martin Datu. He's in the stocks for Mara's sake, but I can get him released if he enlists. When I spoke to him, however, he was stubborn and rude. Perhaps you could talk to him? I've already spoken with the constable, and he agreed to release Martin if the young man will enlist. I simply can't understand why a criminal would choose the stocks over doing his duty for his kingdom. Because Rivenspire is a mess. Blood fiends roam across the land. Montclair loyalists attack our towns. Need I say more? Yes, but this? Let's face it, this new civil war has taken its toll. If you come to poke fun at the prisoner, you'd better think twice. I'll be out of these stocks soon. And then you'll have to watch your back. They may not have enough evidence to hold me, but that doesn't mean I'm not a dangerous criminal. They say I broke into Jirion's ironworks and robbed the place during the night, but they haven't got any proof. Besides, my friend is going to come forward and vouch for me. I was at his house drinking mead all night. And get myself killed? I can't do that. My father went back to the dirt 15 years ago and my family needs me around. My mother would fall to pieces, and my sister doesn't make enough coin to support herself, let alone the both of them. Huh! Can you believe that? I heard what Martin said. He's either completely delusional or incredibly naive. He's been a troublemaker all his life, and he's not getting out of those stocks anytime soon. We have enough. We found his boot prints in the mud outside the broken window. He was involved. I'm not sure he was alone, but he was there. In fact, that friend of his, that Olivier? I suspect he may have helped with the robbery. And that's the thing. Olivier said he didn't see Martin at all that night. Some friend, huh? If they weren't such amateurs, though, I don't think the constable would have made the deal with Captain Thayer. I saw you over there at the stocks talking to Martin. Does that fool still think I'm coming to his rescue? He's like a babe in the woods. I told him not to wear those fancy boots. It's not my fault he wouldn't listen. Yeah, so what? I wasn't dumb enough to leave any proof for that constable to find, so I'm in the clear. And don't expect me to risk my neck sticking it out to vouch for Martin. As far as I'm concerned, he's better off in the stocks. Oh, you mean honor among thieves and all that nonsense? I don't believe in such platitudes. I don't think there's anything more for us to talk about. Did you hear that? Welcome to the Dusklight Inn. Not exactly the lap of luxury, but we try to make our customers comfortable. The cost of a room's cheap, and if you're as broke as I am, that's all that matters. What? You mean because Martin's in the stocks? I don't know if I'd say that makes things harder. Wait, did Martin say something to you? I'd rather not discuss this. Our family's finances really aren't anyone's business but our own. Why are you asking so many personal questions? 
I don't think Martin would appreciate us talking behind his back like this. Besides, he means well. He just never really had a good role model, you know? Sorry, but I need to get back to work. Martin's my older brother, so I've looked up to him ever since I was just a child. Somehow, someday, I know he's going to change his ways, whatever path he chooses in life. Ah, an adventurer. Always so inspiring to have someone like you around town. I hope my son Martin would take up an exciting profession like that. But I'm beginning to think the poor boy just doesn't have it in him. He worries me sick, you know. No, I'm afraid the opposite is true. He's never had a good role model, you know. His dear father was King Rancer's most trusted general. He died up at Traitor's Tor. They say he died a dishonorable death. It's a shame we'll never know the truth. I do. Martin's always been ashamed. Every chance he's had to make something of himself, he's shied away from it for fear that he would fail, like his father did. If he knew his father died honorably, I think it would inspire him. I worry that if he enlists just to get out of trouble, that would be the wrong reason. If someone could tell Martin that his father died a hero, that would inspire him to follow in his father's footsteps, to join and fight with honor. He will. I know he will. Why? Olivier is not going to vouch for me, is he? That backstabbing arsehole. I can't enlist, though. I just can't. I'm just not cut out to be a soldier. And my mother and my sister need me here. That farthing Olivier. I can't believe he's hanging me out to dry. I don't want to rot away in some prison cell. I can tell you now, I am not cut out to be a soldier. Dishonor runs in my family. But you're right. I don't have a choice. I'll enlist. You've certainly done your due diligence. I really appreciate the efforts, but I had a feeling it wouldn't work. Some people just have no sense of duty, and I guess Martin falls into that category. You did? Excellent. I don't know what you said to him, but I don't care. It's my duty to get new recruits, and you helped me fulfill it. Thank you. I'll have the deputy release him, and we'll get him whipped into shape in no time. You really have the knack for this. While I'm getting Martin released, I wonder, would you be at all open to taking a crack at another one of my stubborn prospects? Her name's Suga. She's got a mouth on her, but she'd make a good soldier. She wouldn't admit it, but I think she's some kind of bandit, and that's why she doesn't think much of the Shorenhelm Guard. She called me some rather rude names. In fact, I lost my temper, but you, you have more patience. If it was up to me, no. But our numbers are low and we can't be picky. Besides, I'd rather risk the life of a bandit in battle than some poor girl who's never even swung a sword. If you're willing to speak to Shuga, she's over by the ironworks. Damn trash, that's all it is. Let it be known that Jaren's ironwork sells nothing but dung. They call them swords, but you can't get an edge on one of these blades to save your life. Even the Shornhelm guards got better steel than this. Oh no, not another one. What's it take to be a recruiter? The inability to understand verbal language? If you want me to write it down for you, I can carve it on your arse. I already told that old Sal, Thayer. I'd eat dung before joining the guard. Bunch of elf-loving weaklings that run around Rivenspire getting kicked in the arse. People I run with, they eat members of the Shornhelm Guard for breakfast. You look tougher than your average guard, but my boyfriend would wipe the dirt with you. Ha! Huh, you want to bet on how long you'll last, or whether you just turn tail the moment you see him? Nah, this could be fun, though. 
beat my boyfriend, I'll enlist. If he beats you, well, he'll just take your gear and leave your corpse in the road. Just take the road south out of town. That's where we do our business. Don't worry about finding Govaled. He'll find you. Oh, and don't expect a formal challenge. Just be ready to fight. I'll be here if you decide you're too much of a coward. Vile! Is that a piece of Govalid's brain on your boot? What are you, some kind of monster? Only joking around, of course. You beat him, huh? I'm impressed. Nah, that's what that bastard deserves for sneaking around behind my back with that little Bosmer wench. I knocked her off myself. Nope, I haven't got any hard feelings. In fact, I'd say that was the easiest breakup ever. I suppose so. Govalid's gone, and to be honest, I was pretty sick of sitting around down there by the road and hassling people for a handful of coins. I'll give the guard a try. You can tell Captain Thayer I'll come around soon. Oh well, it was worth a try. I knew she was something of a long shot with an attitude like that. I'd probably have been forced to beat her down every other day just to keep her in line. Maybe it's better that she won't enlist. You did? Huh. I'll be an Argonian's aunt. I really didn't think you could pull that off. You missed your calling, my friend. You should have been a recruiter. You can't seem to fail. While we're waiting for Shuga to finally get here, what do you say to taking on the most unlikely prospect of the bunch? If you can recruit this young man, I'll eat my dagger. He's... awkward. Julien Riziel, that's his name. He seems like a sharp young man and he's had a little training. The problem is that Julien is more interested in chasing girls than glory. Some might even say he's pathetic, but he is a prospect. I don't know. I tried to tell him that no girl can resist a man with a few scars, but that didn't seem to sway him. Unfortunately, I lost my patience after that and now he won't even come near me. If anyone can convince him though, it's you. Town, cleaning up the mess that beastly soldier woman created by offending everyone. You must have a golden tongue, getting folks to enlist after that. You won't persuade me, though. I can't leave town. Not now. Because I'm close. I've been courting Gwendolyn for three years, and I think I'm finally close to winning her heart. If I leave town now, by the time I get back, she'd probably have married someone else. I couldn't live with that. That would make everything perfect. If I had her love, I could enlist and fight with the strength of ten soldiers. It's not going to happen, though. It's going to take something special to win her heart. And I haven't a clue as to what that is. <laughs> Good luck with that. I've been trying to figure her out for years now. Maybe she just enjoys playing with my emotions. If you can help me win her heart, though, I'll enlist. I'll do anything you want, in fact. Don't get me wrong. You're very attractive, and I'm sure you're very nice. But I'm not seeing any new suitors. I have my hands full already with that pathetic young man you probably saw standing around outside. It's not that I don't like him. He's brave, kind, and handsome. He's perfectly... acceptable. He's just not very exciting. I don't know that I love him. 
I'm not even sure he loves me. I keep trying to tell him. It's just some childish infatuation. I don't know. I want the feeling from the storybooks. I want my skin to flush and my heart to quicken. I want butterflies in my stomach and to be unsure whether to laugh or cry. Julian just makes me bored. Someone in town has to be more romantic. The constable and I are taking bets on how long before Martin annoys an officer and winds up back in the stocks. I really do wish him the best, but my gold's on two weeks. Why? Are you looking to court my sister too? Suitors have been lining up for months. That Julianne is the worst. I'd be happy to see her wed almost anyone but him. Wait a moment. You're not asking on Julianne's behalf, are you? Oh. Well, in that case... I know. Tell Julian to give her some flowers. She loves flowers. If anything will win my sister over, it's a beautiful bouquet of fragrant flowers. Captain Thayer comes around here again. Someone's going to get hurt. That wench called me a coward, because I prefer to work here rather than join the Shornhelm Guard. Sense of duty? <laughs> That's a pile of guar dung. Not much. She's a pretty girl, but I think it's gone to her head. She does have a heart, though. She's always at the inn whenever there's a minstrel in town. I think she has a taste for poetry. Not now, friend, please. Not now. We have so much work to do, and I'm not sure how we'll get it all done. You mean that stuck-up woman who lives across the way? I know she's been turning suitors away for months. I think she's waiting for someone with big coffers. Someone who can buy her fancy jewelry and such. Me? <laughs> I don't think she's worth it. I've been thinking. Gwendolyn says I don't really love her. It's just some kind of silly infatuation. I think I need to make a grand gesture to prove my love to her. Something spectacular to show her how I really feel. Something romantic. Something unique. I know. A bouquet of rare flowers, though I'd need help picking them. Or I could serenade her with a poem. Of course, I don't know any poems. Or, or maybe a beautiful necklace. What do you think? I think so, too. I noticed her flirting with a minstrel once. She practically swooned whenever he opened his mouth. Anyhow, now we just need a poem. Surely someone around here knows some poetry. Find a good poem, and I'll serenade Gwen with my love. In the springtime so fair, the ladies sow the seed. When harvest rolls around, I'm still drinking mead. Are you jesting? I'm an expert. I won last year's poetry doused in Orsinium. I know every poem ever written in all of Orc history. All twelve of them. <clears throat> By heart, too. Oh, again with the jests. I wrote the best love poem ever. Makes all the ladies fall madly in lust. I mean love. Uh, I could recite it for you, but I'll do you one better. I'll write it down. Here. I would stand here and drink myself to death, but I can't even afford to do that. My mother told me that if I became a poet, I would starve to death. When I wrote a book, I thought I had proven her wrong. But it's come to nothing. Yes, for whatever that's worth. I haven't had a decent meal in more than a week. Who wants to buy a book of silly love poems while the countryside is ravaged by civil war? You will? 
Really? That's so good of you. A patron of the arts and a poet's savior you are. I can't thank you enough. You just saved my life. And more importantly, you saved my art. Just resting the legs for a few minutes here and letting my friends graze. No matter how bad things get, I'm always grateful that I have work that I love. It's not everyone who finds their true calling. Oh, of course! I love poems. They're very personal, though. You have to write them from your heart. I have some amazing ones, but I wouldn't feel comfortable sharing them. You should write one yourself. Everyone should. I'm a cattle wrangler. I ride around these parts, watching people's herds. I've been working for the Edralds for most of the last few years. I just came up here to track down a few bulls that had managed to wander off. The more I think about this poetry idea, the more I like it. It's the perfect way to show Gwendolyn both the strength of my mind and the depth of my passion. I think I'll call her outside and serenade her in front of the whole town. Well, no, I was planning how I was going to do it, not what I was going to say. I thought you were handling that part. Do you find anyone in town who knows anything about poetry? Really? Write it myself? I never thought of that. I'm much better when I'm spontaneous. I'll just make something up as I go along. Yes. I'll just let it come from my heart and pour straight out of my mouth. <laughs> Follow me. Fair Gwendolyn, come forth and hear my words of love. This should be interesting. I look at you coming down the stair. And I wonder, did you forget to brush your hair? My hair? How could you embarrass me like this? Go away, Julian. Go away and never come back. I guess maybe I should have planned that better. Oh, what have I done? I've ruined my whole life in two sentences! After all the years I've spent courting her, just a handful of words and she casts me aside. How could she be so heartless? No. I'll never find another woman like Gwendolyn. I'll never love again. My life will just be empty and sad. Honestly, I don't know if I can go on. I can feel my heart breaking apart inside my chest. It hurts so bad. I guess. It sounds mad, but you're right. I really do want to die now, and it might as well be for a good cause. Tell Captain Thayer I'll be along soon. That was so insulting. Julian is clearly not suitable material for a woman of my station. Don't feel bad. I knew Julian was a hopeless case. A man who's sick in love is a sad man indeed. I feel sorry for him, really. Enlisting would have probably helped set him straight. I can't believe it. I said I was going to eat my dagger, didn't I? I hope you'll let me off on that one. I'm really embarrassed. Here, I couldn't manage to get a single recruit, and you come behind me and get three. If I None that are worth our time, and I'll have my hands full whipping these three into shape anyhow. The General's jaw's going to hit the dirt when I march them in. I'll tell him I had help, of course. I don't want him assigning me this duty again. All right, recruits. Fall in. I want to see the prettiest march to Shornhelm in history.